Let's meet Apple's newest invention. The Apple Car. Rumors have long suggested Apple is actively working on a variety of different automotive projects that could ultimately lead to an Apple Car. The entirety of the research falls under the catch-all title, Project Titan. The term has been used to describe a number of different elements and technologies, but fall into two broad categories. Self-driving vehicle systems and car design. Will the Apple car be one of the biggest impacts to the car industry? Watch the video till the end to find out. Starting in 2014, Apple began working on Project Titan, with upwards of 1,000 employees working on developing an electric vehicle at a secret location near its Cupertino headquarters. Internal strife, leadership issues, and other problems impacted the car project, with rumors suggesting Apple in 2016 shelved plans for a car for foreseeable future. Apple laid off hundreds of employees who were working on the project, and under the leadership of Bob Mansfield, Apple is said to have transitioned to building an autonomous driving system, rather than a full car, which could potentially be used in the cars of various partner companies. Bob Mansfield retired in 2020, and the car project has another new leader, this time John Gianandria, Apple's AI and machine learning chief. Though multiple rumors have suggested Apple has shifted its focus to autonomous driving software rather than a full-on car, the August 2018 rehiring of Tesla engineer Doug Field has led to speculation that Apple may again be exploring a car option. Reliable Apple analyst Ming-Kai Kuo also believes that Apple is still working on an Apple car that will launch between 2023 and 2025. Kuo believes the car will be Apple's next star product, with Apple able to offer better integration of hardware, software and services than potential competitors in the automotive market, with Apple design chips manufactured by TSMC. Apple in January 2019 culled the Project Titan team once again and removed over 200 employees. The move is said to be part of a restructuring done under the leadership of Doug Field, but it's not yet clear how the hiring is impacting Apple's autonomous vehicle plans. In June of 2017, Apple CEO Tim Cook spoke publicly about Apple's work on autonomous driving software, confirming the company's work in a rare candid moment. Apple doesn't often share details on what it's working on, but when it comes to the car software, it's harder to keep quiet because of regulations. We're focusing on autonomous systems. It's a core technology that we view as very important. We sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects. It's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to work on. Secret Headquarters Several rumors about the Apple car have included details suggesting Apple employees are working on the project at a top secret location in the Bay Area. Rumors and speculation suggest Apple's car campus might be located in Sunnyvale, California, just minutes from the company's main One Infinite Loop campus in Cupertino. Apple officially leases several known buildings at the Sunnyvale location, but it is also said to be operating out of a shell company at the site, 68 Research. 68 Research claims to be a market research firm, but has received city permits for the construction of an auto work area and a repair garage. It is not known if the rumors of the car project being housed in Sunnyvale are accurate, but based on past information, development on the car or car software is indeed taking place at a secret location outside of the company's main campus. Apple has been snapping up a lot of real estate in the Sunnyvale area, including an industrial building that was once a Pepsi bottling plant. Several of the buildings potentially associated with Apple's car project have secret internal names referencing Greek mythological characters like Zeus, Rey, and Athena, all of which are tangentially related to Titans in Greek mythology, perhaps hinting that the buildings are related to Project Titan. Building plans Apple filed with city officials suggest the company's Sunnyvale facility, codenamed Ray, is being used for something car-related, with references to automotive terms like loop bay, wheel balancer, tire changer, and wheel sensor. Apple is rumored to be operating a secret vehicle research and development lab in Berlin. The facility is said to employ between 15 and 20 men and women from the German automotive industry, all with backgrounds in engineering, software, hardware, and sales. The workers at the lab have all been described as progressive thinkers in their fields. Initially, Project Titan was rumored to involve an electric vehicle called We Are Calling Apple Car, delivered by 2019 or 2020. Towards the end of 2015, however, the program experienced an incredible failure of leadership, according to one source, in which managers furred over where Titan was going. This led to the departure of project leader Steve Zadisky. 
The design and technology behind Project Titan remain very much in flux, sources said, with Apple at one point considering using BMW's i3 as the basis for its Apple car. Apple and BMW have held talks about a potential partnership, though both BMW and Daimler reportedly ended talks with Apple over who might lead the project and own data. One German report indicated that Apple had a secret car lab in Berlin, staffed by about 15 to 20 top-class people from the German auto industry, working on issues like Apple car concepts, manufacturing partnerships, and sales governmental obstacles. A possible manufacturer is the Austrian division of Magnus Air. In May 2016, Mansfield is said to have announced the new Titan strategy in a Silicon Valley auditorium packed with hundreds of Titan employees, explaining that after an evaluation, he decided Apple shouldn't compete directly with Tesla, which already has several electric cars on the market and is working steadily towards full self-driving systems. The original vision of an Apple car that would detect its driver via fingerprint and then drive them anywhere had transitioned to a partially autonomous car to something more ambitious. However, another factor that may have pulled Apple away from its own car is the automotive supply chain. While Apple is used to being able to exert heavy control over suppliers for devices like the iPhone, the company may have discovered that auto parts makers would be less eager to commit to an Apple car, given the deeper expenses involved, and Apple likely producing vehicles in small initial numbers. The company is meanwhile said to be developing charging infrastructure by hiring engineers and talking technology with firms that supply charging stations. An unknown engineering and construction firm allegedly approached Apple about offering services. A July 2017 report claimed Apple is working with Chinese firm Contemporary Amperex Technology CATL, to research and develop new batteries for automobiles. Few details about the confidentiality agreement were reported, with CATL officially refusing to comment. Unlike the self-driving element, which is naturally in the public eye, the design efforts of Apple have been kept under wraps for the most part. Aside from rumors, which have even suggested Apple is creating an electric van, the only real indications so far of Apple's design direction have been patent applications. Based on patent filings, rumors, and speculation, the general appearance of the vehicle could offer some departures from current vehicle design. Apple's use of sleek lines in other products could be reused in the Apple car, as well as wide swinging doors that eliminate the need for a permanent center door pillar, making openings even larger. Proposals include the use of Arkansas and VR technology, in-screen displays, privacy lighting, and unique sunroof designs, among other suggestions. The introduction of self-driving systems could further inform the design of the vehicle and result in more radical layouts, as there would be less of a need for conventional seating arrangements. Apple Car Design Apple's patent applications also cover the design of elements of vehicles. While this can include more pedestrian areas, such as powertrain systems, this also steps into redesigning essential concepts in vehicular design, rethinking basic elements in unusual ways. The sunroof of an Apple car could be set to slide a large glass panel, but in such a way that it remains central despite the car framework and tracks diverting away in non-parallel lines. A multi-segmented sunroof with independent sliding and lifting sections has also been proposed. A headlight system could highlight road hazards for drivers, such as by using an illuminated indicator shown next to an obstacle or specifically illuminating sections of the road. An anti-glare system for the windscreen could protect drivers from bright lights by dimming or blocking out parts of the glass while leaving the rest transparent. Continuing the theme of lights, Apple has suggested alternative ways to illuminate the inside of a car. These have ranged from fiber optic systems to an interior lighting system, using band pass filters to offer privacy by making it hard for onlookers to see into a vehicle. TrueTone technology borrowed from other Apple hardware could also be employed to ensure there is an even internal lighting inside of the car. The seats and seatbelts have received particular attention by Apple, such as the use of a smart seatbelt that could control CarPlay devices. Illuminated seats could inform users of how to adjust them for comfort or simply to buckle up. Even the doors have been worked over, including versions with white openings that remove the center pillar, sliding doors, and the use of force feedback hinges. Retractable bumpers could help keep the vehicle pristine for longer by using inflatable sections to cushion the blow from impacts. On the more pedestrian side, a patent application from 2018 showed Apple was keen on designing a converter infrastructure for using high voltage sources for lower voltage systems. A battery floor has also been designed. 
The use of electricity can allow for unusual use cases, such as a piloton of cars that could share power between each other. Wireless charging systems, including one idea where a small robot on the floor plugs the charging cable in underneath the car, have also been proposed. Innovations such as ultra-wideband radios included in the iPhone 11 could also be used, such as to provide keyless entry. But what will the release date be? Apple Car rumors had suggested Apple was targeting a 2020 release date for the Apple Car, but now that Apple has ceased work on developing an actual car, the company's plans are in flux. Apple analyst Minkai Kuo a few years back said that Apple is still working on an Apple-branded vehicle, which is set to be launched in 2023 to 2025. Thank you for watching today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Before you leave, make sure to let us know in the comments. When do you think the Apple car will be released? And what do you think the price of the car will be like? Anyway, have a nice day and see you in the next video.